All right, so today I am at the Phoenix Center to get my feet x-rayed before I have my first appointment with the ortho surgeon. I last had my feet x-rayed last January when I was beginning to have problems with my feet. And so here we go. I'm kind of terrified because what if my feet aren't bad enough and I just have to live in mild chronic pain for the rest of my life? Or maybe there's something else wrong with me. This is kind of a hard day. Okay, that was relatively easy and painless. She did like a angle of my foot, a top down of my foot, and a side view of my foot. So now we are gonna go find the ortho surgeon's office, which is located somewhere else in snowy British Columbia. My town's not very big, so I'm here already, and I'm like half an hour early. But what else do you do? Like, if I went home and back, then I would be late. So today's appointment could go either a few different ways. So the two things that I'm anxious about is one, my foot is not bad enough, and I'm gonna have to live in mild pain until it is bad enough to operate on and I've spent the entire year doing absolutely nothing in an attempt to keep the pain at bay. Even like a grocery store run to Costco, if I wear the wrong shoes will hurt. And this summer when we did travel, I typically would do like one or two heavy days and then I would need to take a full day off just to kind of ruminate in the pain. I also don't carry children and I don't carry things and I don't do a lot of things. I've also put on a lot of weight in a year of not being active. So, I don't know. And then if I do need to do something, typically it's surgery. And that's the only option that I know of. So unless he has another idea, but foot surgery is not nice and it would take a long time to recover and I have two toddlers at home, a three and a half year old and a two year old and I think no matter what point in time I do the surgery, it will never be easy and it will mean that my husband will have to take time off work, we will sacrifice our vacation this year to care for me, just a lot of sacrifices and it kind of sucks. But if I don't do this, then I can't do vacations. Um, I don't really know why I have this foot problem. I pulled some cards and the cards spirits say, yeah, this is your path. And it's like, why? Why does my path have to involve my feet so much? I have massive feet and I've always struggled with my feet. And this really sucks that I'm only 28. And here I am sitting in the parking lot of an ortho surgeon's office because my feet are in so much pain, they make me cry some days. It helps that I, like I did get a good pair of shoes. They're a size 11, men's 11 and a half, 6E. So yeah, I have a big foot and it's wide and these are the only shoes I can wear without it hurting. So let's stop sitting outside like a creeper. We're gonna go into the office because I would rather just sit in there. I'm gonna read. I brought my textbook, brought a notebook. Ooh. And brought my wallet. Don't forget your keys. We're gonna go inside. Wish me luck, guys. So, fill out the acquisition forms. They're gonna go to the hospital and we will find out when I get a surgery. Let's do one foot at a time. The left and then the right. And I am terrified because my feet hurt. The surgery's gonna hurt. But, I don't even know. So it's been about a week now since I saw the ortho surgeon and still waiting on the hospital call. It could be a really long time before the hospital calls. And then I had asked the receptionist and she said probably four to six weeks once the hospital does call to get the surgery in. 
and it's just this waiting game and this waiting game sucks so if you don't I don't know I don't think I mentioned that I'm in Canada so I waited a year to see the ortho surgeon which that's pretty much a miracle since I was expecting more like 18 to 24 months and now we just wait and see how long it takes for the hospital to get their act together in the meanwhile I've kind of been nesting like I'm pregnant I cleaned out everything I'm double freezing all my meals and just getting ready because we will not survive if it's just me taking care of everything also, two toddlers. I'm most scared about not being able to do anything. We live in a two-story house and there's like some big stairs all the way down there. And like I won't be able to go up and down the stairs very easily, which means I won't really be able to leave the house. And I'm not the type of person who handles cabin fever very well. So all right. This is the end of this little vlog. I'll come and update you whenever I get a surgery date and whatever anxiety I have then. Bye.